Last week on the show, we were introduced to the General Federation of Women's Clubs in Delaware and learned about the wide range of things they do in the community. Now, one of those focuses they discussed was their passion for health and nutrition. And it's not just Delaware. At the end of the month, women's clubs across the country are stepping up to combat hunger. And here to tell us all about this effort are Kim Luton. She is the GFWC Delaware State Chair for Step Up to End Hunger Day of Service. And we welcome back Trish Rodriguez, the 2022-2024 GFWC Delaware President. <laughs> welcome, ladies. Yeah. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, how you guys doing? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. You ready for this effort? We are ready. Yeah, ready. So, so tell us a little bit more about it, about how it's coming together. Uh, all of our clubs across the state are coming together, and we are going to host this day of service mm -hmm. where we are going to be serving meals, we are going to be collecting food, yeah. we are partnering with many individuals and organizations across the state to help bring this to the public's light. Obviously, okay. we all know that, that nutrition and health is important, but why are you guys so passionate about it? Well, I think um, we all know that hunger is a big issue throughout yeah. the United States. Mm -hmm. And GFWC, our international organization, decided to have one day of service mm -hmm. to provide food throughout the United States, including Hawaii and Alaska. And so on September the 30th, every club throughout the United States will be doing something, holding something, some event, some project, to collect food and distribute it, food where it's needed in the community. We're all about community and yeah. community service. That's what our focus is and that's where we are as an organization of volunteer women. Ours is from nine to two, all throughout every community in Delaware. Nice. And what do you think it says that, that the women's clubs, this is a nationwide effort and you're, you're all doing it. What, do you, what kind of message do you think that, that sends? I think it sends the message that this is very important to our nation. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I found in doing my research is that uh, Delaware's rate of food insecurity is at 12.6% by the CDC, which is higher than the national average of 11%. So we have a problem of food insecurity in the state of Delaware. And we've come together to try to bring awareness to that, to our community partners, as well as our, our local communities. Hitting up every community, how do you collaborate to do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, it's a, a large effort, because we have 20 clubs throughout the state of Delaware, but it's, we have amazing teams. Um, what is really awesome is that everybody in all of our clubs has embraced this effort. So we're gonna um, be doing a drive-through food collection effort at 40 the Green, which is in the historic part of Dover. And we're really looking forward to serving our community that way. We're gonna be giving, uh, that particular food is gonna be going out to the Salvation Army, as well as to veterans organizations. So we're looking forward to that partnership. And so if people are watching this right now and they're like, I wanna be part of this, can they? Sure, go to gfwcdelaware.org and they can find how to join, how to join our efforts. Uh, the majority of our clubs have Facebook pages, mm -hmm. so they can go out and type in GFWC Delaware, yeah. and they'll be able to see what clubs there are in their local communities that they would be able to help and participate. What a wonderful so, event. Thank you so much, Trish and Kim, for coming in and telling us all about it. Of course, we'll have that info on our website. Thank you for, having, you for us. having us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Stick around. We have more Delmarva Life on the way.